Hi, my name is David Thompson from roundedtech.co.nr and this is a video on the Dell Inspiron 530. I know quite a lot of people who have this computer behind me with the white size as you can see and it's made by Dell the 530 series and it has had quite a lot of complaints. It was withdrawn a couple of years ago due to problems with the power unit there and it dying, overheating and not working very well. So the problem I have with this computer here is when I run programs it just tends to in the middle of it overheat and shorts out and that's a problem with the power unit here because Dell use cheap low wattage power units in their computers. I'm not sure if it applies to all of them but especially this Dell 530 series. So the first thing I done was I took the sides off it. I just took a look at all the components to see that they were intact and none of them were hanging out. I then put my power plug and my VGA cable. You probably can't see but there is a screen behind here that you would normally see with the display on of my computer and it says keyboard fail check as there is no keyboard plugged in. But I just booted it up. I checked that these two fans here were working, the case fan and the CPU heatsink fan, as you may see there. And round the back, I checked that this fan, the most important fan, or the second most important fan in this computer, is the power unit fan, because if that fails, you've got a dead power unit on your hands. So this has just been a video explaining how to troubleshoot problems with the Dell 530. Inspiron series, which has been a common problem. If you have encountered this problem, please comment below and say how you fixed it or resolved it. Did you just get rid of this computer altogether and use the RAM and the hard drive for parts in other computers? Or did you just try and fix it and buy a new power unit? So the thing I advise to all you Dell Inspiron 530 users, if you have what this computer in Pacific, buy a premium or better power unit than is in this one. So I'm going to go for a 500 watt power unit for this computer which should, should suffice, suffice the needs of what I use it for and that should finish all problems I have because if you leave it that power unit will eventually become dead and sure out all the other components in your computer and then that has rendered it useless. So thanks for watching this video, I have shown you just about the Dell Inspiron series and how there is power unit problems with them. So please comment, rate and subscribe if you like my videos and thanks for watching.